Let's see how long this coffee lasts this video. Okay, let me know if I'm alone with this, but do you guys ever suddenly notice like a giant growth in your manga collection, like out of nowhere? I already have over 450 volumes in my collection, and today we're gonna go over all of them. Okay, okay, and since we're talking about weird questions, do you count the volumes in an omnibus as individual volumes towards your collection, or do you count the omnibus as one volume? And I was like, what do I do? What do I do here? This is such a predicament. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Boogie Snacks. You can go ahead and call me Boogie, and today we are doing yet another manga collection video. This one's a little special. Uh, this is the last one that I'll be doing at this house because, I mean, frankly, the rest of my house is in boxes right now because finally the time for moving is upon us. I finally snagged a new apartment and I already have the keys to that new apartment. So this video was one that was kind of a priority. I really wanted to make sure that I did one last manga collection video here at this house with this setup and this collection and whatnot. Okay, but with that being said, if you guys like anime, manga, or just like the vibes here and want to stick around for more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you in the community and have a lot of fun videos planned that I'll be uploading soon. But before we go ahead and jump on into today's video, I want to ask you at home, how long have you been collecting? Are you a beginner collector, perhaps that you're looking to even start your collection right now, or you've had your first few hauls and you're looking for more, or are you a veteran collector that's definitely been around the block and your collection's probably bigger than mine? And also, for all of the new people coming into the community, Everyone, I want you to drop a manga recommendation, one that maybe you'd want to see me add to my collection or that you think should just go on everyone else's shelves. Uh, I'd be interested to see what you guys have down below. All right, but with that being said, enough chitter chatter. I've been looking forward to making this video for a while, so let's get this video started. I'll see you in just a second. Okay, I have my coffee, I have my collection, and let's take this shelf by shelf manga by manga and kick things off with a very good seinen that needs no introductory on this channel, Blade of the Immortal. This is a very heavy hitting series and if you're coming into the community, this is a very, very, very popular manga despite its age. Now, this series definitely covers a lot of adult topics and can be very dark at times, so definitely know that before jumping into this series, but the good news is we have new deluxe versions for Blade of the Immortal, so now's a great time to start reading and collecting this series. Okay, briefly, let's talk about one of my favorite series, which is GTO, or Great Teacher Onizuka. This is such a classic story and I highly recommend everyone at least watch the anime, it's available on Crunchyroll. Please check out GTO. This is actually the second volume of its spin-off. The original is very, very, very expensive to collect here in the States if you want to own it physically, but I'm just happy to own at least something from GTO and eventually, fingers crossed, I could own it in its entirety one day. Okay, so now we make the jump. We're gonna say hi to the rock and roll neon sign. And now we are on the top right shelf. We get to talk about one of my all time favorite series. Yet another seinen. Now I'm sort of realizing my entire top shelf is basically all seinen, which you're not gonna hear me complain about all too much. Let's talk about Vinland Saga. Thorfinn, Vikings, battles, betrayal, love. I mean, you name it, this series has it all. It's really popular for a reason. I highly recommend you guys check it out. You can collect it physically with these wonderful hardcover editions. If this is the first time that you've ever heard about Vinland Saga and I'm lucky enough to introduce you to this series, a great place to start would be the anime, but please do yourself a favor and read the manga for Vinland Saga. Okay. How are we doing so far? Is your coffee cold yet? <laughs> Let me know. Mine isn't though, so that's a plus. But let's continue on to our middle shelf with some of my all-time favorite series. Let's talk about this delightful rom-com, a very relatable series, Wotakoi. This is volume four, but I also own volumes one through four, which I'm showing you now, and also Grand Blue Dreaming, one of my absolute favorite series. You definitely have to check this one out. We'll talk about it more later on in the video. Okay, so continuing my rom-com binge here, this is Macy Nikoku, done by Rumiko Takahashi, who is the same mangaka that did Inuyasha. Now, this is definitely an older series, but it has that old school charm, if that makes any sense. I honestly highly 
recommend it to everyone here and reading it physically has never been better with Viz's collector's editions that are coming out right now. Now there comes a time in every manga collector's journey where you want to collect a series that's very difficult to find. Now most likely these series are out of stock, out of print, or just generally very, very, very expensive and Barakumon is definitely in that expensive category. So with that being said, I think the vast majority of us watching this video right now, you should probably read this digitally or at least watch the anime. This is a heartfelt slice of life series that follows the adventures of a professional calligrapher who moves to the countryside of Japan to escape the fast paced city life to do some soul searching. Now I get to talk about my new favorite zombie series, Zom 100. Now I've been talking about this series a lot recently, so I'm not gonna say much here, but just good characters, just an overall great time reading this series, very relatable at times, albeit in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, you definitely gotta check it out. Ah, now I get to talk about the series that's definitely gonna make you crave some ramen. This is Miss Kazumi Loves, well, ramen noodles. If you're like me and like cozy comfort food anime or manga, this series is gonna be for you. Now quickly moving on, this is Devil is a Part-Timer. This is a very good comedy that I watched back in the day and I knew that I wanted to collect the manga and with news of another season after all these years for Devil is a Part-Timer, I knew that it was time to start picking up the manga. I am proud to announce that I own Monster from Naoki Urasawa, the legend. I own this series in its entirety and I'm so happy about it. This is what I like to call a slow burn series. It's a mystery thriller that will keep you on your toes and I highly recommend it. Listen, if I'm known for anything on the internet, it's being the guy on YouTube that won't stop talking about Hina Matsuri. This is honestly one of my favorite series of all time that I really wish I heard people talk about more. Now, this is a comedy slice of life, but it's, to be honest, it's so much more than that. The characters are something special in this series and just the facial expressions and the comedic timing, it's so good. Now I finally get to talk about Ajin. I have everything that's out in English as of right now physically, which is up to volume 16. This is a very dark scene and filled with action, mystery, suspense, and just an overall mystery thriller vibes. And it's so, so good. I definitely recommend the manga over the anime. Looking for a new cozy series? Look no further than Days on Fez. It's basically all about a group of friends that are going to Japanese music festivals, the Japanese music scene in general, camping, and more. Now this is the giant omnibus all-in-one edition for Dororo. Now this series is definitely regarded as a classic. In fact, this was gifted to me. I actually haven't read it yet, so I'll check back in with you guys once I do, but as you can see, there is a lot of pages in this all-in-one, and it definitely has some old school vibes. Now we get to talk about the series that started it all for me, which is Tokyo Ghoul and Tokyo Ghoul Re. To the premise, to the characters, to the antagonist, and to the coffee, this series I just fell in love with, and I fell in love with the world that Sue Ishida created within Tokyo Ghoul, and I highly recommend that you check it out if you haven't already. Let me just show you the last volume for Tokyo Ghoul Re. This is such a beautiful series, despite all of its flaws and the chaos. I just, I love the world here. Now, moving over to the romance series, and when the anime came out, it definitely took over for a little while. I do have a few volumes of Horimiya, and I can't wait to start reading it. Now, let's talk about a classic shonen series. This is Yu Yu Hakusho, and to collect Yu Yu Hakusho physically right now has been, let's just say it's been a little difficult. This is one of those series from my childhood that I never got a chance to fully read, but I have seen all of the anime. So this is quite the priority for me to collect physically and just binge read all in one sitting. It's also done by Togashi, who also has done Hunter x Hunter. I know it's really good. Some of us feel a certain way about the ending, so I'm not gonna talk about that yet until I read it and give my final opinions on it. But yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho, man. Now for another blast from the past with another nostalgic shonen series. This is Shaman King, and this is such a refreshing read after all of these years. I finally get to finish the series because of these reprints. These are the Omnibus 3-in-1 editions that are currently releasing right now, and I highly recommend it. If you're looking for a new music series to really sink your teeth into, I gotta recommend you, Blue Giant. The story follows a high school saxophone player who becomes obsessed with jazz music and culture and wants to pursue that as his profession. 
I love how the music culture is really portrayed in this series and how jazz culture is really represented with all of the references and the standards here and of course the practicing discipline and onstage presence. Now if you're looking for a new thriller gambling series, look no further than Kaiji Gambling Apocalypse. Now this might be my favorite part of the video and I love being able to do this with my display shelves, but with a snap of my fingers, we have an entire new display filled to the brim with all new manga titles, so let's jump into it. Okay, really quickly, let me show you what I'm not gonna put on the shelves. Uh, let's talk about box sets for just a second. Okay, so I have all three of the One Piece box sets. Now I'm not gonna take them out and show you all the individual volumes, simply because I actually just did a video all about the One Piece box sets and how crazy the market is right now to try to find them and whatnot. And you get to see all of the spines and a lot of the volumes that are within all of them. So you know what, I took the liberty right now to sort of make the executive decision to not put them on the shelves for this collection video, but if you want to see them, a card up above will be in the upper right hand corner. You can check that video out whenever you have the time, but I'll just really quickly show you the box sets just to make sure I cover all my bases in this video. So they're stacked first to third, so let's go three, two, one here. So this is the third box set that's currently out. Oh, and I do have the fourth one pre-ordered, but that's that's another story when we're actually gonna get that one. So here's the second one really quickly. Bada bing, bada boom, okay? And then we'll go to the first one, the classic, the original. There we go. Now, speaking about box sets, I actually am lucky enough to own all three of the Monogat 3 box sets. So you're seeing footage of them right now. I was lucky enough to find all of them and good luck to everyone who are hunting them down right now. Speaking about light novels, I also own volumes one through nine of Overlord. Quickly moving on, let's talk about two series that I have yet to read with, so I'll let you know my thoughts when I do, but this is Fist of the North Star, which I'm excited to own, and the first two volumes of solo leveling, the light novels. Now quickly moving on to Makoto Yukimura's first work, Planet Tess. This is quite an interesting space sci-fi series, which only has two omnibuses, and I highly recommend it. Now, would it really be a manga collection video without some Junji Ito? So this is Uzumaki. Unfortunately, this is my only piece of work from Junji Ito, but if you're looking for a horror recommendation, check out Uzumaki. Now let's talk about Shuzo Oshimi's happiness for just a second. This is such a refreshing take on the world of vampires, and I think you guys are really gonna like it. It's quite the easy binge read. Now let's talk about the first two volumes of Saint Young Men. I haven't read the series, so full disclosure, I'm not gonna give my opinions on the series, but from the synopsis and from what I've heard, I think I'm really gonna like it. The basic premise is that Jesus and Buddha are friends and roommates, and I'm gonna leave it at that. If you've read this series before, let me know your thoughts and feelings on it, but I'm quite looking forward to diving into this one. Next is my single volume borrowed from To Your Eternity. Morgan, if you're watching, I need to give this back to you. Now for my volume two and four of Blood on the Tracks, this is gonna be my next piece of work from Shuza Oshimi that I'm going to read. That's the mangaka of happiness that we just talked about. I don't know too much about this series, but I am eager to dive more into Oshimi's catalog. So this is something definitely to look forward to. Next, this is my volume four of Soul Eater, the perfect editions. We will talk about Soul Eater later in the video. Now, if you're looking for another food manga, let me direct you to Delicious in the Dungeon. This is a very cleverly well done and also hilarious at times food manga that I think you're really going to like. I own the first two volumes and one day I hope to collect more. Now, it wouldn't be a manga collection video if I didn't have at least one piece of work from Inyo Asano. This is Solonin. This is definitely going to hit you in the feels and I highly recommend it. Now, speaking about the feels, this is Yona of the Dawn, one of my all time favorite romance series. I actually own quite a few volumes of this. In fact, I even have some doubles that I may have bought by mistake. Now, if you're looking for a new romance series and you haven't checked out Yona of the Dawn, please do yourself a favor and check it out. Now, if you want to collect it physically, just be aware that it's definitely quite a few volumes, so it's going to need some space on the shelves. Next, let me show you one of my all-time favorite series, which is Silver Spoon. I own it in its entirety. It's done by Hiromo Arakawa, who is the same mangaka that did Full Metal Alchemist, and I think you'll really, really enjoy this one. 
Now, believe it or not, I actually own all of Maid Sama in omnibus form. I didn't know that this series was difficult to collect right now, but apparently it is. I picked this up a long time ago, and I'm happy that I did. Once again, if you're looking for another romance series, do yourself a favor and check out Maid Sama. Now, I also own six volumes of Beastars. Most of this manga that you're seeing now was in the box that I was talking about since I'm getting ready to move. I also own 10 volumes of Don Machi, or Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in the Dungeon? Now, if you're looking to get into this series, I own the manga, but I recommend you start with the light novels. Now, moving along is my volume one of Nichi Joe that was gifted to me. I haven't read it yet, but I will let you know my thoughts and feelings once I do. There's also the three volumes of Miss Kazumi Loves Ramen Noodles that is out in English and my five volumes of Horimiya. Next is my all-time favorite food anime and manga, Restaurant to Another World. The new season of the anime just came out, so I recommend starting with the anime here, but this is such a beautifully well done food series, whether you're watching the anime or reading the manga. It's so cozy. I definitely, definitely recommend it. To the phenomenal cast of characters or the amazing recipes that are within this series, I hope that you check this one out. Now, moving over quickly to one of the most recommended series on my channel, Noragami. Now, I still haven't read it. Please don't kill me in the comment sections, but... This is a series I'm very much looking forward to binge read. I have three volumes as of right now, and I believe that's enough to start it. So once the move finishes, this will be definitely on my priority list to read. Next is my single volume of Mashal, Magic and Muscles. And I've been told that this is quite similar to basically a magical version of One Punch Man, and I'm all about that. I was also recently sent that time I got reincarnated as a Slime Volume 1. I'm going to pick up one or two more volumes before I start this series, but I believe that I will enjoy this after thumbing through it. Next is my first piece of work from Tayo Matsumoto. This is number five, and to be honest, after thumbing through this, it looks beautifully weird, if that makes any sense, and I believe that this will be quite the interesting read. Now, if you're like me and just wanted more from the anime of ReZero, I opted to finally start collecting the light novels, and to be honest, I'm very happy that I did, and I cannot wait to get past where I am in the anime. Now, as you can clearly tell since my last collection video, I've definitely started collecting and reading more light novels. Quickly moving on to yet another highly recommended series on my channel. I haven't started yet, but you guys keep telling me to, but I can't find volume two anywhere. This is Hell's Paradise and I can't wait to start it. Next is the controversial Satoshi Kon's opus. I've heard you either love this or you hate it. Next is my single volume of another jazz manga, Kids on the Slope. I recommend the anime because you can't really find this series in English. I accidentally bought volume one thinking it was in English, but it's not. So just take my word for it and just watch the anime. It's very good, especially if you're looking for a new music series to get into. Next are my first two volumes of 20th Century Boys. I've decided I'm going to wait till I get volume three to finally start this series, but lately a lot of you have been telling me to finally start already, so it's definitely on my priority list, including Blue Flag, which is the next series you're seeing on screen. I only own two of the volumes. I want to wait till I get volume three, but then I will start reading it. If you're looking for a cozy manga that will hit you right in the feels, look no further than Sweetness in Lightning. Okay, I listened to you guys. Due to the plethora of recommendations, I finally bought the first couple volumes of Land of the Lustrous. I can't wait to start the series and I will definitely update you once I finish reading the first two or three volumes. Next is a series that needs no introduction on this channel. This is The Way of the House Husband. Now, you might know it from the Netflix adaptation, but if you've only seen the anime, make sure you do yourself a favor and check out the manga. Now this is where I lose my weep card. Please don't kill me in the comments, but I have yet to actually read Berserk in its entirety. I only own the first two volumes and I'm waiting to bulk buy them all at once. But let's at least look inside. Oh wait, no, 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 you can't see that. Now, if you're looking for more Tokyo Ghoul, there are three light novels out. I haven't read them, but I will let you know when I do. If you're looking for a new interesting romance series, let me direct you to Perfect World. I actually hope a few of you check this one out. 
Next is a series that needs no introduction on my channel, everyone's favorite science series right now, of course we're talking about Dr. Stone. Now if you didn't know, I stream on Twitch, of course links to all of that will be down below, but one day we were buying manga on stream and we ended up buying a few volumes of Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. Quickly moving on are my physical copies of the quintessential quintuplets. Now I'm a few volumes away from completion and I need to get on that. This is honestly such a good series. If you like romance, definitely check this one out. Now, if you're anything like me and watch the Bunny Girl Senpai anime and wanted more, there is the light novels. This is Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai, the light novels. I have the first few volumes and honestly, I can't wait to dive more into this story. Now we are coming down to the final stretch of the video and let's kick things off on the final shelves with another romance series, Snow White with Red Hair. I highly recommend this one. It's so charming. Please do yourself a favor and check out the manga, but a great place to start is the anime. Next is a series that I've seen a lot of people in the community say that you either love it or you hate it. I am at a point where I'm not sure if I'm gonna collect any more of it physically, but I initially fell in love with this series because of the world building, but as it progressed, I lost more and more interest, but it is a beautiful series and a lot of people do like it. Let me know your thoughts and feelings on The Ancient Magus Bride down below. Now the next two series, Orange and Welcome to the Ballroom, were loaned out to me from a friend to make a video where we swap some manga, and that will be in a card in the upper right hand corner, so check that video out whenever you have the time, but both are good series and both I would recommend. Next are my five volumes of Demon Slayer, and I've seen so many of you hold out on collecting this series physically so that you can buy the box set, and let me know if you're buying the box set down below, but I own five volumes and I plan to read the rest on the Viz Media app. Okay, yeah, so I was sent a copy of High School DxD Volume 1. <clears throat> um, hmm, yeah, okay, let's just move on. Okay, we're moving on. Next are my five volumes of Hunter x Hunter. Now, I really want to collect this series in its entirety. It's one of my favorite anime of all time. If you haven't checked it out, please do. It's so good. But yeah, I, I think I'm all for collecting the rest of this series. Now, if you don't know anything about Hunter x Hunter, it's been on a hiatus forever that's why collecting it has always been on the back burner for me, but honestly, I really want to see what happens after the anime and the Dark Continent arc, so I will collect it. Next is an interesting series called Living Stone. Now, I think some of you will like it, some of you won't. It's going to be hit or miss, so do your research on this series, but I, I do recommend it. It's quite odd, but it's only four volumes, so not that big of a commitment. Do yourself a favor, look it up, check it out. You actually might end up liking this series. Now we finally get to talk about Gantz in the video. This is definitely a mature saying, and so make sure you are of age. You can see the parental advisory sticker right on it, but it's honestly such a wild ride, and I genuinely hope that you check it out. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have all of the collector's editions for Fruits Basket, and this series is so touching. The anime is done very, very well, so that might be the way to do it, because the collector's editions right now can be sort of difficult to find, but this is such an old school romance series. Please check it out. Speaking of old school series, this dystopian classic, Battle Angel Alita, is a classic for a reason, and these deluxe editions are by far the best way to read this series. Now, if you like mechs or a good space odyssey, Knights of Sidonia might pique your interest. It's honestly pretty interesting. If you've noticed throughout this entire collection, mechs really aren't my thing, but my exception is Knights of Sidonia. Obligatory JoJo's Volume 1. I know I gotta watch and read this series. Believe me, I'm on it. I'm getting ready to binge watch the entire thing actually, but yes, Obligatory JoJo's Volume 1. If you're looking to get into Soul Eater or just another shonen in general, these perfect editions are <laughs> a perfect way, pun intended, to get into the series. Let's talk about Muji Rushi. You don't see this in too many collections anymore. This is uh, Naoki Urasawa. It's a one and done. It's a mystery. You might like it. Look into it. I, I, I think a few of you might dig this one. Okay. Golden Kamui. I love this series. It's filled with historical references, mystery, thrilling fight scenes. It has it all. It's so well done. Please do yourself a favor and check out Golden Kamui. And that concludes my last manga collection video at this house. Thank you so much for watching. And to be honest, I hope that you found this video to be chill, relaxing, and maybe you found some new manga titles to potentially look into or some of your favorites in my collection.
Alright you guys, welcome to the end of the video and I just want to say thank you for those of you that have been watching this long. Thank you. That's amazing that you've made it this far into the video. This house is where I built this collection and this shelving unit, this these floating shelves that I have, like this display case, it means a lot and it's become part of this channel. It's become part of my life and for me to tear this down shortly is... Um, I'm going through a bunch of emotions right now, obviously. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of speechless. It's kind of like, you know, change is coming. All right, but with that being said, I think I'm gonna let you go here. If you'd like to go ahead and support the channel, go ahead and mash that like button down below. It lets me know that you're watching at home and I can continue to make more content just like this. And of course, as always, nothing has changed. If you'd like to stick around for more videos, go ahead and mash that subscribe button. We would love to have you in the community. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a good night.